Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Well, this morning, Wolfram Funko Nerdtail coming from not so Funko HQ, but never mind, we'll get some more pop figures when I get more money. So yeah, uh, just had uh, this in the mail. Uh, it's uh, Disney One. So uh, let's see what's in the box, shall we? So it came all the way from Germany, I assume. It looks like it anyway. No, nope. America. America at some point. But the box is damaged, so here's hoping the pop figure isn't damaged. Got some more pop figures on the way. Uh, there's four more on the way. They should be here soon. So let's have a look, let's get it out of the bubble wrap. Always keep that, just in case I need to send pop figures off for anybody. And if you're all watching, uh, hopefully you're watching this video. Um, if you want, uh, quote James10 at PP Joe to get 10% of pop figures. That's James10 at PP Joe Pop Protectors. So if you all want money off your pop protectors, just quote James10. Cool. So it's Hercules. Uh, it's the first Hercules one that I've got. Um, I thought it looked quite cool, to be honest. The box isn't damaged so far, so that's okay. Uh, just a little dent right there, but it's not too bad. Let's get them out of the box, shall we? So I recently got rid of most of my Power Ranger ones. I was sad to see them go. The Megazord has gone as well. I um, got rid of that uh, for financial needs. I'm quite sad that I had to let my Megazord go, but you know, every cloud. So, let's have a look at Hercules, shall we? Okay, right. Bit of a quiff there. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's get him in focus. Actually, that is not a bad painting. It's not bad details. Look on his toga. Look at the details. Let's put him up closer. It's not too bad. It's not bad, actually. I was expecting it to be really badly decorated and painted. But it looks okay. What do you all think? Do you like him? Pointing at his muscle and... This is my, no, it's not my first Disney pop, it's my first Hercules pop figure. I've got Nightmare Before Christmas ones. And also, there's new Nightmare Before Christmas 25 year uh, Funko Pops coming out. Uh, if you go into my Instagram, Funko Morphin, there's lots of pictures of pop figures that are coming out. Um, the new Helmetless Power Rangers are out on the 22nd of August on Amazon in the UK. It's the Power Rangers without their helmets, obviously. They look quite cool. You've also got Lord Zed, Rita Pulsa, Pudgy Pig, Goldar. They're all coming out on the 22nd of August at Amazon UK. So you can either pre-order them now, but you'll be paying at least £10 uh, delivery fee. But if you wait until on the 22nd or after, it will be free shipping. So if you want to pay an extra, it's twelve ninety nine per Power Ranger pop figure and £10 delivery charge but if you want to wait after the 22nd of August you won't pay for the delivery charge you might only have to pay a pound or something like that but if you wait until after the 22nd of August you won't have to pay too much for the shipping so uh, that's the new Power Rangers that are out on the 22nd of August and you've also got new um, Nightmare Before Christmas pop figures coming out as well so they're quite cool so you've got the clown tear away face You've got Snowman, Jack Skeleton, you've got Sally, you've got Zero. You've also got a Chase Zero with his, uh, his grave tomb as well, with Zero on it. If you've seen the Nightmare Before Christmas film, you've got Zero and you've got his grave as well. Um, I think they've got one of the witches, I'm not too sure. They've got the devil. But if you go into my Instagram, uh, you'll be able to see more. That's my daughter in the background. So anyway, let's get back on topic. Let's look at the Hercules. And there's the box. 
the box is okay. That is going in the pot protector as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, I tried to get Hades, but uh, they wouldn't ship it over here. Uh, US Sync or Game Deals, I'm not too sure, but um, they wouldn't send Hades over here. But Baby Hercules looks cool, Baby Pegasus, Phil and Meg, so I might have to get them. <coughs> Sorry guys, it's really early in the morning. So, quick drink. So yeah, actually, so I've got more pop figures on the way. Um, I'm always up to date on my Instagram. If you want to see what I've got coming, go and check that. I've also on Stashpedia. If anything's, anyone's on Stashpedia, it's Funko Morphin. You can see my pop figure collection and also my wish list. My wish list is crazy at the moment. There's so much that I want, but I'm broke, so... Um, I just get the common ones. Um, if you want to go on my pages, everything will be in the description. And also, uh, PP Joe quote uh, James 10, that will be on there as well if you want uh, money off your pop protectors. Let me just show you what you get from PP Joe, guys. So, you get. A nice shiny PP Joe box. You also get these lovely pop protectors with stickers as well. These are there. Uh, just a quick look, but um, I've actually got some up on my collection. I've also got this for as well. That's the six inch pop protector. Um, some. Let me just actually two minutes, guys. Here we go. This is what they look like. These are the four inch ones. So he will be going in this, as is all my pop figures, because I don't want them damaged. Um, so yeah, he is going back in here. So you've all had a look at him. Just click him back into place. Also, there's a few Comic Cons coming up. Um, I need to buy a ticket first, but. Um, Wales Comic Con, December 1st at Wrexham. It's just a, in a university building. And I've also MCon, Nottingham, next May 2019. Jason David Frank is coming back. I met him May, just gone. And also Amy Jo Johnson. She's appearing as well. Uh, Wales Comic Con, December. You've got Carl Urban. Uh, you've got Ray Park, who played Darth Maul in Toad and X-Men. Um, who else is going to Wales Comic Con? Austin St. John, he's going. The Red Ranger, he's going as well. Um, who else is going to Wales Comic Con? i trying to think. Arthur Darvo from uh, Doctor Who and Legends of Tomorrow. DC Legends of Tomorrow, sorry. Uh, you've also got Jacob Fry, who voiced... Uh, Paul Amos, who voiced Jacob Fry in the Assassin's Creed Syndicate, he's going as well. You've also got Bayek, who voiced Bayek uh, from Assassin's Creed Origins. So there's quite a few game people going. Uh, MCon next year, Nick Frost is going. That's quite awesome. You also might know Nick Frost from Shaun of the Dead, Paul, you know, uh, The World's End as well. That's quite awesome. So. Quite a lot of guests going. If you want to go into my Instagram, um, everything's posted up there. Just get this guy in the box and into a pop protector. No, I don't want to keep someone trying to steal my pop protectors. So here he goes. <coughs> this will be going up on my YouTube page. In pop protector. Keep him nice and clean and shiny. So yeah. And I'm glad I hit over the 100 subscriber mark. I want to do a a giveaway for the 100 subscriber giveaway. That would be quite cool. But I need to get some awesome stuff before I do that. But we'll be doing that. I promise you guys. So there he is. And a pop protector. So yeah. Thanks for watching this morning's video guys. I've been waiting for this one. As I say I've got a couple more on the way. You'll be up to date when they arrive. 
Um, so yeah, um, everything will be in the description below. This is the longest video I've ever done. A 10 minute video, wow. I've just been blabbering on, guys. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to stay up to date with my Instagram and everything, everything will be in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Orphan Funko Nerd. You have been watching today's t-shirt, Star Trek. I don't know if you heard the latest rumour about Star Trek, but Chris Payne and Chris Hemsworth have apparently um, they've apparently turned down the roles uh, for the new Star Trek 4 film. I'm not too sure about Simon Pegg or Zachary Quinto. I'm pretty sure they're still doing it, but Chris Hemsworth and Chris Payne are not too sure about it. But I really hope Chris Payne stays, uh, stays as a role as Jim Kirk. That would be quite awesome. Chris Hemsworth, I don't really care about, um, but Chris Payne needs to stay as uh, James T. Kirk, so here's hoping he does stay. But I think um, Simon Pegg, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, I think they're still staying as their roles. Carl Urban, I'm not too sure about. I think he's staying as Bones, but I'm hoping Chris Payne keeps the role as James T. Kirk, because... They apparently said they're going to be switching roles, but I don't know how that would work because his dad died at the beginning of Star Trek holding down the ship. I'm not too sure, but I'll keep you up to date with all that. I want to start something new, uh, Geek Talk with Funko more, uh, more from Funko Nerd. That'd be quite cool. Let's see if that kicks off. I just talk about random stuff. So if you want to see that happen, Geek Talk with more from Funko Nerd, and let me know if you want that to happen. And thank you for watching today's video, guys. That's Hercules, PP Joe. Like I said, if you want 10% off your pop protectors at PP Joe, just quote James 10. Thank you for watching, guys. Live long and prosper. Goodbye, guys.